All right, this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm taking a bit of a break from the live commentaries so I can go a little more in-depth in the strategy behind this week's event, which we find ourselves uh, up against the skulls once again. I'm actually going to have two different strategies in here as opposed to what I normally do, just one strategy. Uh, let's just jump right into it here. So the mission tasks this week are to neutralize three security guards, neutralize one guard with missiles, Fault in three guards, infiltrate successfully, infiltrate within 300 seconds, five minutes, infiltrate using only grade five equipment or below, and infiltrate dressed in combat fatigues, so nothing fancy, no battle dress, and uh, no sneaking suit. Now, for this, you're going to want to infiltrate on the base dev platform, right here. And you're going to want to drop in right where I have selected. Now, as far as your equipment goes, remember that the limitation we're working with is nothing over grade 5. Um, it doesn't matter what type of assault rifle you bring. The cheaper, the better. We're not going to use it. You want to bring, for this specific strategy, the cheapest missile launcher you have. So the Grom 11 would be perfect. You also want to bring a Riot SMG. Again, the cheaper the better, but um, Grade 5 will work just fine. You also want to bring along your best pair of night vision goggles, which should be Grade 5 as well. And wear an FOB appropriate camo. I like Parasite Mist. And uh, lastly, your Fultons. You want the Wormhole Fultons, but just go ahead and bring the Grade 1s. We don't need that many for what we're doing. And drop in at night. Now, speed is going to be the key here. You want to get everything you need to do out of the way as quick as you can. Because ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to climb up to the mortar position on the base on the top sort of area of the base. So go ahead, drop in, and immediately uh, start running here. Have your Riot SMG out. We're going to pop three of these guys in the head in order to Fulton them. Also, we do need to kill one with missiles, so take out the, um, basically just the first one you, you can see. That guy's going crazy. He shouldn't be a problem, though. Alright, now get yourself up top. Go to exactly where I'm going. This is going to be where the mortar is. Do be aware, sometimes you'll get a guy up here, and they can follow you up the ladder. So take them out, make sure they won't be an issue. Skulls should almost be here. Go ahead and get your night vision goggles on and man the mortar. You want to aim pretty much exactly where I'm aiming. The first shot is going to attract them. And it's important that after you fire your shot, you need to stagger these. One little bit to the left, one little bit to the right. And you just want to keep doing this. Fire as soon as you can. And this will take all of these guys out in short order. Super simple, super easy. Go ahead and take the mortar with us just because we can. And there you go. That's the first method of taking care of the skulls. Should work the first time, every time. Now let's get on to the second method. The second method is going to be slightly different. Actually, it's going to be a lot different. <laughs> We're going to bring along the CGM-25 launcher, grade 5. Not the grade 6, because that'll mess us up on the event points. The grade 5. Everything else is going to be exactly the same, though. We're going to the same platform, dropping in at the same spot. All of that stays the same. We're just bringing a CGM launcher, and we're going to do things quite a bit differently.
So at the start, things are going to be pretty much identical. You're going to drop in with your Riot SMG, you're going to start popping guards, and you're going to start Fultoning them. You're also going to need to take out one guard with the CGM itself, and that'll get that one thing out of the way. Make sure you don't miss, because we're working with a very limited number of missiles. It also should be noted for both of these strategies, you're going to want to use your avatar character or snake. That way you have the speed upgrade so you run faster and reload faster. Um, I cannot stress how paramount both of those are for this strategy to work, because this one is all about reloading speed. Go ahead and put on your night vision goggles and nest up exactly where I am. Get out uh, your gun once the skulls land, you're going to use that to attract them. You're going to want to aim right about here with the CGM. Now, now pull that out, and right when you hear the teleport sound, right when you hear the teleport sound, fire! Reload, fire, reload, fire, and just as many as you think that need to be fired, just, just keep firing. And that should get all of them, because they all teleport right in front of you. If you hesitate for a second, if you aren't reloading fast enough, they're going to teleport somewhere else, you're going to mess up. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that, you know, hey, this method doesn't work, and, and the thing is you're just not firing fast enough for some reason or another. I mean, yeah, sometimes there are flukes, but, I mean, we're talking super rare, like less than 1 in 20 times I've had a fluke where it just wasn't me firing fast enough. Alright, so there you go. Those are two different cheese strategies for the Skulls event mission, uh, both of which should work flawlessly for you, regardless of which one you choose. Thanks for watching the video. As always, any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.